This is what baby seats are actually for. I don't have kids yet. We don't condone this packing job. This is a Michael Del Monte classic, but no, you know what? The man gets it done. Why well, my solution is just don't use gear. <laughs> What's going on guys? Today we are shooting a documentary. Well, we've been shooting it for a while, kind of for like a year. Started shooting it back September 2019. Took a pause for a while and now we're picking it back up. This is Clear Sky. It's being directed by Michael Del Monte and I'm helping DP it as much as I can be out there on set. So I thought we'd give you guys kind of like a BTS on this. We're shooting an interview. We're gonna teach you how to shoot a proper doc interview, talking about that. And I'll give you a quick gear rundown while I'm here at the office. I'm gonna be shooting on my FX9, if you saw my last video, I think I posted it before this, who knows, but they just did the V2 version two update on this. And the footage is looking real tasty. I gotta say, the color science on the FX9 is impressing me. Probably just gonna go two lenses on this shoot. Let's look in here. What do we got? We have all these lenses here and I literally cannot find the one that I need. We're gonna go the Sigma 35, but I'll have to go find it somewhere in the office. But we have this right here, which is the Sigma 24 with the Canon lens cap, go figure. Anyways, we'll be on the Sigma art series. I just really love those lenses and it's the E adapter, so we'll have autofocus. And then for the second camera, which I'll be operating, we'll have the Canon 50 mil on it. Uh, we just love this L series lens. I'll probably eventually go Sigma 50 mil, but for now we still have the Canon. It's a great lens, so that's what we'll use. Uh, I'll give some more input on the gear when we're on set, but yeah, let's go shoot this. You need the shotgun to record the sound. Quickly too, our Air Moza contest is still going on. If you wanna win this gimbal, all you gotta do is leave a hashtag with give me that gimbal in the comments below. Go follow me on Instagram and share this video. If you want more of the contest rules, they're below, but we given away this gimbal. So I actually just hacked the lav, but Mikey tells me we might not even use it. Why is no. that Mikey? Cause you don't need lavs when you're doing sit down interviews. Well. Nine times out of 10 I find I just always end up turning it off because if you boom properly, or in this case, uh, uh, are we booming? What's yeah, it? we're booming. So you're not gonna use the laugh. Yeah. Forget the laugh. Mike has kids and like six businesses, so. This is one piece of gear you can never forget because you never know if you're gonna have like a swivel chair or some random piece of equipment at the person's house. So we don't know what chair situation we're walking into. So this is the most forgotten and important piece of gear. This is a Sigma chair. Uh, you know, it's their new version two firmware. It's really great. We really love this chair. Uh, we're looking forward to version three of the chair next year. So before we go shoot our films, we often like to listen to the music that we'll be using in the films. This is a, an original score to Mike's latest film. His name is Ray. But uh, what, it just gets us in the mood, you know? Sports players play their pump up music before they get on the court. <laughs> we listen to cinematic music on the way to our doc shoots. Yeah. So Mikey, what are we doing? We are shooting an interview with our new documentary subject. The film is called Clear Sky and this is for actually the trailer. We're just doing, uh, we want to get some of his story beats. So we want to get uh, him sitting down, comfortable. We don't do this in the film, the film's all verite, but just for the actual trailer itself to help pitch the film, we're doing kind of this whole separate shoot for that. Yeah, we just want to get some standard on-screen quotes so that we can sell this to the broadcaster because right now it's all this beautiful, Yeah, you have some beautiful Terrence Malick-like footage, but we need some just standard footage of the characters. Yes, yeah. Mikey, did you need more room? For what? <laughs> to, just to get the gear out. Fine, man. Uh, I think you guys know the person's house we're filming at. I'm just gonna knock on the door right now. What up, what up? There he is. How's it going? The default character in all of Maddie's <laughs> videos. <Seriously. laughs> it's Tyler. Yeah, we're gonna film in here. Oh, this is great, man. Yeah. This is your place. This is my, this is my homestead. Uh, my favorite part is these, these chairs that I've had since, like, college and they're just the most comfortable but ugly chairs. For a long interview, it's just too risky yeah. trying to use window lighting. M That's might end up being a 90 minute interview, light. so I'm gonna put the chair out here and then we're gonna get a key light from the far side. We'll set that all up. So we moved the camera around the room. This is where we started. 
then we ended up over in that corner and then you always got to go with your instinct but uh, Tad made the good point about getting as much depth as possible so we pulled the camera all the way to this corner of the room we have Tyler our lovely stand-in <laughs> and then as much depth to the back of the wall so that we can get as much shallow depth of field and I like things dramatic so I'm not going to be using a fill light just a little bit of a backlight in the falcon eyes right here we're just waiting here for Mikey to arrive with Clear Sky to film him. Uh, kind of some of the quick points for filming interviews. The first thing you want to do is decide the style of interviews. And I have lots of videos about that, but really quickly, it's is the person looking directly to camera or are they going to look just off to the side of camera with the director? Or are you going to do kind of like the floating camera that I like doing in a lot of my films? We did all of our interviews in No Country is an Island like this and a lot of our other films. So in this case, we're going to have one camera shooting directly at Clear Sky and he's going to look just off to the side. And then I'm going to be floating to the side with my camera handheld. The FX9, when you break it all down, it's light enough that I don't need an easy rig. But had this been like maybe like a commercial set where they have to have wireless video feeds, I would wear an easy rig and stand from the side. But for here, right now, we're just gonna do two FX9s and have him look just off to the side. And most of this film so far has been Michael by himself, and so his interviews have all felt in the moment, as we say, they're verite. They're, he's, Clear Sky's just looking at Michael just off to the camera, or even just past camera, or sometimes right even to the lens, but they're very casual. But in this case, we needed something a bit more formal. And so I'll take you through our lighting setup right now. Right here for our key light, we have the Falcon Eyes, 718 lens lens it's light and then here is some old school f and v led lights these are like some of the first led lights that ever came out on the market i've had them now for like i don't know almost like 10 years and then we have just a little other pocket light here that tad brought lighting this piece of art is being held up by a vice grip thanks to tyler uh, we have the lamp going here and why we can have this lamp in the shot is we have this light at 100 percent it's fully cranked right now so that way the lamp doesn't overpower the shot because you always want your subject the person being interviewed you want their face to be the brightest thing in the scene because naturally we look to the brightest thing in the scene so if your background is brighter than the person being interviewed your audience's eyes are going to go there so we have this cranked up to 100 percent so that we can have the lamp and then just for some ambience on the couch and kind of on the wall since i'm going to be filming from the side here we knocked on that house lamp there's no wrong reason you can't use practical lights as they're called like the lights available for you in the room so that's the setup right now the last point i wanted to make one really important thing for shooting an interview and this is very obvious is getting a quiet space but also to a comfortable space the interviews i've done in the past on some of the films like i worked on this doc series around the world for nikon i always found my subjects would actually cry in the interviews at, when we shot them in hotel rooms which i began thinking about that and i think it was because of the quiet space it felt private it was very soundproof it was often just me them a sound guy and a camera person and our subjects in those films always opened up and the interviews end up being very cathartic for them so I find if you can find a place that feels a bit more private for me as a filmmaker I like that I want it to feel private I don't like chaotic places I'm always amazed how many documentaries do interviews in like restaurants or just out in the middle of nowhere i guess that's because they can't get access to the subject but for me i want to be in a quiet place i want to be in a dark room i like moody lighting and that's my style so that's how i approach it There you go, we wrapped, just showing everyone that we put Tyler's house back to normal. <laughs> it's Thank not, you. yeah, Thank you. that's what you become like part-time filmmaker, part-time home mover when you're doing documentaries because you're just moving people's crap around all the time. It's not crap, your chairs are the most comfortable chairs I've ever <laughs> sat in. But yeah, that's the interview. Thank you guys. Make sure to uh, leave any questions or comments below about kind of the interview process or how to shoot documentary interviews. So I'll give you more BTS. And if there is more specific BTS stuff that you guys want, let me know. Be happy to do it. But thanks, Tyler. Everyone can thank him. You'll probably see him very soon on Matty's channel, I'm sure. Showing your face for a new LUT or, exactly. or a new gimbal. But thank you, man. camera, Matty's got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But awesome. I'll see you guys in the next one.
I probably look the least comfortable. <laughs>